see whether you can take ammonium tartrate and then try to crystallize it at 25 degrees. So the, the temperature is very critical. And then you will see crystals. Uh, we have been trying to do this with uh, no success. I don't know the humidity in Chennai is so bad that like, you can't also really keep it at 20 degrees or all kinds of things. Maybe you wouldn't have much better success. So uh, he sort of kept this ammonium tartrate uh, solution old uh, palace night and what he formed out was uh, uh, something that you all know that he formed two, uh, two different types of crystals, uh, two different orientations in space. Uh, so, and when he, uh, he was he was so lucky, uh, amazingly lucky but then I do uh, think that uh, 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 discovery favors the bad mind. Why should he put these crystals under a microscope? <laughs> so he did put this uh, crystals under a microscope, and unless he was so sure there must have been something. So he, he, was, he was able to actually separate the electron bombs by hand. Uh, so he actually he put it in this microscope, and then using forceps, he actually separated the uh, the DN, what the big D and the L. Then he did this. And he looked at it, since it was a macromolecular crystal, I think he actually, in a sense, got sort of confused. That he sort of was very sure carbon has to be a helical structure. Because for them, it was very easy to see helices like that with carbons attached. So that immediately he could uh, go back to the Bell's work on the polarization of, uh, oh, I'm sorry, on the rotation of polarized light. So for them it was very easy to actually see a right-handed helix and a left-handed helix. So he said that mostly carbons are chains of atoms and uh, you could see this uh, uh, helices, so you can have a right-handed helix and a left-handed helix and then say that these are two different forms and therefore they could, though, though uh, in terms of uh, molecular formula, molecular rates are the same molecule, but then the orientation was different and therefore they rotated. And I think uh, that was a very, very important idea in chemistry. Uh, because now people started thinking that the uh, rotation of main polarized light has something to do with orientation of the groups. And I think the pasture, uh, I, I still consider pasture maybe the greatest uh, 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 scientist uh, after Galileo and of course uh, Michael Faraday uh, is also not far behind. Uh, <coughs> so uh, immediately this was taken by Lebel and uh, Lebel did the experiments. He sort of showed that it rotates plain polarized uh, light in uh, different uh, uh, in two opposite uh, directions. But the but two things are very, very important here. One was that Pasteur showed them uh, how to separate this. So uh, the big D, big L, ammonium tartrate, K and D in the, the molecule we use. And of course, there are a lot of these alkaloids, uh, which again show some property of polarized rotating polarized light. The other thing was the measurement itself, which was the polar beam. And uh, if you had read in the polar meter, you would see that all our, the lambda max that we use for the polar meter is about 540 nanometers, which is basically yellow line. And uh, this was great uh, because what they had to just do was to just uh, take uh, sodium chloride from flame and then it gave pure uh, 540 nanometer line. Uh, so, sort of it hampered uh, uh, the So, uh, uh, so after this, Vankov uh, uh, came uh, into the whole thing and then he said uh, well, pasture is uh, wrong because if pasture was right, how would you explain uh, ethylene? How would you explain as 
toxicity. Uh, so somehow, uh, uh, Randolph uh, said that pasture is wrong. So he looked at it, and uh, Libel actually had also, both of them had really come at the same property, but what sort of distinguished Randolph was that he was able to explain why everything happened, why acid leak happened. So in our uh, uh, in my class, what I do is that I ask my students to make a transparency sheet, uh, make it into an uh, uh, equilateral triangle, and then what you do is once you have the equilateral triangle, you uh, take the two points and then you fold it, and then you get it. You fold all this, and then you get a better equal. And uh, so this is a way uh, you can just do a Google search and say how to uh, make uh, economic solids. Uh, especially, I think uh, this is a good idea uh, if you do uh, if you do a course on symmetry, uh, if you actually do, uh, because this also tells you how you can make uh, dota cantilevers, microcyclevers, etc., etc. So they give you a in paper with all these dotted lines and just you know you stuff it and then fold it and you get it So these are the things that my students uh, build. And so once uh, we get the deprivation uh, So he said, look, this is all I can do. This is the thing, and this is the thing. 
then how uh, then people ask how was SMT? Just so join the faces. Right? So you just join the faces. Uh, and then you get SMT. So just in this very simple model, you could actually get into this geometry. It just according to me, it would be fantastic. I think this is the simplest and the most elegant model ever done in chemistry. Absolutely. And 
and then they go back and then they find out there's this molecule which gives the color in that time field. So in four car you can actually never ever take the uh, uh, So uh, so at that time so one of the ways they must have reduced uh, benzene uh, when uh, when why was it so stable at, at that time I think we could have uh, so uh, so this is uh, I think all of you should uh, Try whether you could uh, do the uh, do this ammonium pathway. Something maybe will be very successful. That this kind of somehow we are not never able to uh, able to see. The uh, other thing uh, that I uh, would also uh, uh, if you look at this. Uh, try to make, ask the students to do C60. Uh, again, the format is a bit, you just have to fold it. It's basically like folding the paper. They give you the format, you can buy the fold, buy the cut, and all that, and you fold it. And try to sort of superimpose the isocetyl on that. And you see that it actually belongs to the isocetyl uh, point. Uh, C60 belongs to this. So these, uh, with symmetry, to work uh, with symmetry, I think is a uh, is a good thing. I, 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 I'm sort of realizing it very late in my life, but uh, uh, but I think it's uh, worth it. Another uh, uh, thing I'm going to say is you have uh, seen, as you also see, for example, the standard form of methane uh, should have a CI also. We need uh, for some thing uh, that CI centers of inversions are not very <laughs> clear. I don't know if, for example, if you look at the stack of form of ETA, you join all this, and so it has a virtue of inversion axis. Or maybe he thought uh, inversion shouldn't uh, do this for you. His uh, theory of uh, There are so many questions uh, that we have. But uh, this would be a, the cyclohexane, construct the cyclohexane model may be a little uh, difficult, but just try to think uh, different. Uh, Sizes of a tetrahedron I think uh, it is it is uh, possible to actually uh, do it. I don't know why we had to wait till the 1950s for Barton and Russell uh, actually you know, give a. Uh, that was an unequal case of other people than 1900s. Uh, but that was an unequal case of other people than 1900s. And that was an unequal case of other people than 1900s. So, 
<laughs> there was a uh, so somebody had uh, actually one of the one of the uh, talks or uh, one of the courses. Uh, somebody somebody was giving uh, a lecture on uh, there's a PPT available on the technical part, and he actually puts that whole criticism inside the PPT, and he says. Uh, Somebody criticizes you, don't take it to heart because it can still be one way to So, and they also say, you know, if your ideas are good, you will always win. And I, and I think uh, that is the that is uh, one of the things that uh, I think I well, One thing about Reinhardt was that he was convinced of his volunteers. Absolutely. So, immediately he would also show that by uh, putting the uh, putting forth the 